Let's get on with some proving grounds, shall we? At the start of the Windbag Ranch, the squirt population was kept well under control thanks to this place. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. Alright, let's get to work. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Alright. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck. Okay, I've got no shields. Other folks came to train me as low arms. Still others used the place to test their finest blades. I've got to remember I can throw it as well. Oh, I've gone super deeper. Slippery little devils. And that. Five remaining. Oh, what? What is it? Kid make short work of them things. Okay, only second prize. Okay. Something sharp. Something pointy. So next prize is under sixty seconds, and I did it in one minute and nine seconds. I could improve that, I think. We shall go again. Then. Green ones are the ones that run away, it's a lot of problems. Alright, there's a green one over here. Got it, alright. Get those things. Get these. Get this. Power shot. Brilliant against those. Take the hit. Not the power. Nice, one more. Yeah, that don't die, that'd be embarrassing. Got that one. Finish this off, and get those. There you go. Oh, got got a ghost blade. Don't know what it does, but we got it. Nice. And that's how you do it. Not too tricky, that one. Well, the kid's gone and struck terror in the hearts of squirts everywhere. So... Oh, I can zoom, zoom. So what upgrades did I have on that? I only had the first two. That tackle, attacks cripple foes, and blades per throw. So let's just hit, make sure you hit them. And damage over time. But these two I didn't need. I don't think you even needed those upgrades, so... That was pretty fun. For the zoom, and I even unlocked true surpassing skill with the war machine. The ravers, the arm of justice, they okay. seemed unstoppable. They never failed to bring the city's justice down on those who sought to flee from it with a machete. So let's do the next one of the Proving Ground Soulwood Grove. Celondia's marshals fine tune their muskets and plan their patrols here. That's Zolwood Grove. A nice, quiet place to show a musket a good time. Well, let's see what we're going to be doing. Ever felt a Zolwood gourd? Like picking up broken glass barehanded. At Zolwood Grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. Okay. I wonder if I've got the time to destroy all targets in a few the shots. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. 
Most marshals didn't get far on their first few tries. No. I want to try and push them more, I guess. I've left one, that's good. Oh, I missed another one. Oh, that was really bad. I even missed the one. I had to catch a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, the angle is a bit smaller than I remember, so. That was a waste. Alright, we'll see. It took a keen eye, not an itchy trigger finger. Alright, how many for first place? I got second, which I'm happy about. 15? Ah, oh, if I hadn't messed around a bit, I might have got that. Something coarse. Something fat. We might need to be able to upgrade everything at this rate. Let's try again. The orchard grew over so quick. The marshals made it worth clearing out. Alright, grab the musket. Oh, that was a good one. That was a very good one. Get to these ones. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm doing quite well. Okay. The best of the best to clear the course in just a few shots. I'll take that. Scrap salvo. I wish I could see the special in action, but off we go. I guess that's why you do the missions, or the proving grounds before the end Kid of the game. Kid probably could have made himself marshal one day. Right, just a quick little check to see what upgrades I had for that. I had the first two, so I had increased range, but less spread. So that meant I could hit the ones further back. And increased damage, which is prob is no good at all. But shots cause greater knockback. That would have been very good. And maybe even increased spread would have been just as good. But I didn't have very many upgrades, and I accomplished that one. So not too tricky that one. So that's another one that's not too bad. All right, it's hammer time. The scrapyard. Those looking for an honest day's hard labour, but always welcome here. That's the scrapyard, where folks got to smash things and call it community service. <laughs> cool, this guy. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. Folks have fouled up will do their time here, smashing things to bits. Right, a hundred objects. Seems like a lot of objects here. Well, let's get to work. The quicker they work, the sooner they can go. I guess it'd be Folks so easy to miss. Their feet and put their backs into it. to navigate that sea of junk. A good day smashing to feed a family Ooh, for a second week. place, not bad. What's first place? Tell me it's not. 27 seconds or less, okay. Some good items though for upgrading. Let's see if we can go faster. got to be perfect or you don't get it. Here we go, once more. Oh, missed 
this way now. He doesn't have that punch. Three of those rolls, right? About 28 seconds, about three times in a row, so it's good to get that win in. Woo. 27. The kids worked the yard before, but that time it just plain destroyed it. Destroyed it. And I got a memorial. Gained the required number of secret skill techniques. The service for all the men and women who serve Ceylandia. Ceylandia's guild offered lifelong experience competing and collaborating in the name of discovery and progress. Oh look, earn glory on the proving ground. Earn first prize in the required number. Seven. Open to do that. What a great. See, I've quite a lot of upgrades. The damage, that's pretty good. Less hits, I guess. Uh, focus attack, I didn't really use that, but that's been good in the missions. And more damage. But, yeah, I don't know if these would have helped that much. Overhead strikes can stun. Attack ignores armor. Um, maybe I'll get this before the final. He put some finishing touches on the checkered face. That thing. Packs ignore armor. A patterned face that can smash straight through all but the toughest defenses. Why? Well, I haven't yet got the last upgrade to really un unlock this. The other option was a bell face rather than a checkered face. Overhead strikes can stun. Attack without moving for an overhead strike. A convex face whose smaller surface area can deliver stunning force. So I've got the overhead hit thing, I think, here. I like the idea of ignoring armor, but maybe we'll get the bell face. Stunning, but we'll maybe look at that before the final mission for now. Go back onto the Proving Grounds. Boundless Bay Proving Grounds. Skippers in the Ceylondian Armada learn their trade in relative safety here. Boundless Bay used to be a weapons test and dry dock. Ain't never been this dry though. Alright. Ceylondia's Armada was a glorious sight and our ship's mortars were unstoppable. At Boundless Bay, our Navy put those mortars through a rigorous inspection. Hey. Had to use squirts to simulate explosive impact on the surface of the sea. Okay, so I've got loads of squirts. I guess I have to kill them all. And these ones seem to move from right to left. Choosing targets with those mortars was one of the trickiest parts. Galleon skippers needed to be patient, needed to fire at just the right times. Okay. Getting the power shots is a good thing to do. Sounds like the kids' mortars in tip top shape. Only had five shots. Okay, something burnt. Something heavy. 80 casualties on that for first place. I was quite close. I mean, he did three more. Ah. If you got a thing for heavy artillery, then I've got the place for you. Alright, let's try again. A variety of oh. modifications can be used to enhance the power of a mortar. Power shot. Oh, they're running away. There's only three left. Oh! You could almost see the fireworks over Got the well. bay. Okay. Well, that was easy once you got. If you get blast radius upgrade, very easy that one. So that's a recommendation. Good thing we got to that mortar before the beasts of the wild learned how to use it. I don't know how beast of the world we're going to use a mortar. The mortar's here, something burnt. So I had blast radius, 
burnstone bombs. A little burnstone adds a lot more punch to every shell, enhancing the blast area of effect. And the target system increases aiming speed. That doesn't really matter. Customs targeting mechanism that reaches maximum fire range more quickly. It just helps them. Yeah, it doesn't really help for this. And shrapnel charges. Plus 25% blast radius affects stacks with the burnstone bomb. So this one here. An alloy based compound that erupts in every direction when a shell explodes for a wider area of effect. So the blast areas makes that mission. You don't need the damage. just need to blast all those squirts. So nice and easy with those. Um, rapid bombs is for faster reload. Which I think is pretty good. Um, especially on the, the missions. And increased damage here. A delicately balanced compound that causes shells to explode to greater intensity. High explosive charges. I think I'd probably do that for the missions. But for the like proving grounds. That was great. I don't need critical hits surely. The blast system. Don't need that. Rapid bombs. Pretty good but. Maybe. You get some very good upgrades for this. Look at this. 100% power shot damage. I'll save the money in case I need the upgrade stuff for other proving grounds, like the something foul and there's something wrong. It'd be nice to fully upgrade them all, but I don't think we'll have the money for that. But we've done the skippers. Okay, 999 damage of a single shell. The skippers delivered us from the motherland. Even the most distant shores were well within reach of these masters of the sea. So we're getting through this, lots of missions completed, they give us little 500 pound, well, 500 things reward. This gives us 5,000, so that would be good for upgrades, but I only need two more. Be doing well, but let's get back on it. It's going well. Alright, on to Trigger Hill, Proving Ground. The Ceylondian Army Elite visited this place for training and competition. That's Trigger Hill, where the army's elite became the finest marksman in the land. Oh, I bet this one's not going to be easy. Ceylonia's army only took the best, and the best of them trained on Trigger Hill. The Triggers believed they were nothing without their rifles. Okay. Let's have a little look around. I'm guessing it's over here. Nothing beats the feel of shooting oh. a Ceylonian army carbine. Looking for the shadow by the looks of it. Sometimes you had to take care to steady your shot. It's a bit out of range here. The triggers had clearance to modify their guns however they chose. Some felt the course was too easy. So the triggers spice things up a bit. That's more spicy. The kid ain't bad, but the triggers were better. Hmm. I missed a shot at the beginning as well. Something fancy. Oh! You're joking! I was on the money! 35, I did it in 35. I hadn't missed the first shot, I would have done that first time. Oh well, let's do it again. 35. If you want to master the art of the firearm, then the place to go is Trigger Hill. Oh, that's annoying. Right. A nice power shot. This one. Sometimes you had to shoot from the hip. I don't know. You had to keep moving to avoid getting burned. I don't want to be burned. Kids load through that course like it was nothing. Shot for my troubles. Trigger blitz. I know what it does, but it's probably cool. That wasn't hard at all. Did it second time round. Probably should have done it first time round. Bit annoyed about that. I was on the money. The Ceylonian army would have recruited him in a flash. What if this guy would have been recruited by absolutely everyone? So, what did I have on my rifle? 
something fancy a clockwork organized once used for work and recreation these springs and sprockets could be put to better use I had aiming speed I oh, see I'd already upgraded the car by a little bit which made that easier um, speed tuning so it was faster at aiming it's even faster at aiming with the marksman barrel oh no I can move while aiming sorry that's that's wrong I can move around while aiming but this is the aiming speed and the knockback wouldn't have been useful, the damage wasn't useful and I had faster reload so all of my things were set up for speed and there's even more speed here with this one looking to increase damage as well and I don't know what the last one is but I might attempt to take the carbine on the final mission just because I like the carbine it would be cool to see it in action fully upgraded I mean, I'd like to upgrade all of these and try them out but you know, I've already got this upgrade, good. Can't win them all. Alright, the next one is... Oh, the, bell are the bellows? I've not upgraded these at all, so we'll see how this one goes. Grady Incinerator, Proving Ground. Things too cumbersome to smash at the scrapyard. Could always be burnt here. Grady incinerators where we sent off all our trash to be burned or be eaten by the wild. Okay. Oh, the fire bellows. Welcome to Grady Incinerator, home of the hottest wings east of Ceylandia. In all seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with peckers. Alright. Fry peckers before time expires. Blast the things would swoop in and spread trash all around until we started using the fire. We couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. I do hurt. Let's see if the damage increase would be useful. Peckers were willing to fight tooth and nail for all that trash. Oh, it's finished and they're still fighting. 60. For the next prize. Where's my prize? Here it is. Something foul. Something sharp. Right. Well, I could get some upgrades and now I'll come back and see if I can make that go better. Here we go again. Alright, that was good, that was fast. I run away. Probably good move from there. Oh, come back. Oh. Wasn't any other way to teach those peckers some respect. Well, that worked. Tried a few different combinations, but that one worked very, very well. So, they needed an upgrade. It was very hard about upgrades. Out. you could have done it without it but maybe someone has super good at the who game. knows why we fought so hard to defend our own trash all right so uh, something foul um I tried the wider spread um and the damage and the fuel generation so i kind of swapped these around this the attack speed kind of used up all my fuel so i needed extra fuel damage resistance doesn't really matter but I had sustainable fuel, um, so get the extra fuel generation, a chemical compound that oxidizes faster than usual for longer lasting flames with less downtime. And I picked that over the spread, you probably could pick the spread as well, but it's an unstable compound that burns hotter than normal, creating a wider cone of fire that can impact a larger area. But I feel like I wanted to try to burn them in a certain area, so that one wasn't as good as the fuel. The napalm reservoir flames caused lasting burn. That was good because when it hit the birds, they flew off and died separately, which is good. 
a dangerous thickening agent that causes flames to stick to the target continuing to burn and that was better than the extra damage per flame which is thermite reservoir a powder that can generate extreme heat for even more destructive flames probably could be good but this one when I burnt them you can see they flew off and still died um, I didn't use this fuel probably could have could have been extra burning but I like to have this one the modified intake that crippled them a special modification caused the device to generate noxious vapors which reduced the target's mobility which meant when I hit them, hit them once they wouldn't escape me and that's better than the cooling intake an exhaust system that lets the device run cooler but burn just as hot improving for fuel efficiency and then I had the grip for extra speed of attack so the fuel I was, had extra of it but I burnt it up quicker but the speed was good custom fitted high friction handles allow the device to pump flames faster than usual and I'd use that to the damage resistance with the shielded grip a protective planting and coating shield the user from harm while the device is active and I was tempted to go for number five but not yet I need to save the money in case I need to upgrade other weapons like this but yeah that was good that worked well and uh We've done the dynasty, having seven maxed first prizes in the proving grounds. The dynasty to the families of the city, all reunited. Birthright meant little to Celondia, a city in which standing could be earned through achievements. And I also got the bellows one here. Shows the passing skill of the fire bellows to defeat 20 foes of one continuous attack without taking damage. Good. The cinders kept the city good and warm, made it thrive. So I did the, the scrap uh, thing and I never got that one. Ten foes. Defeat ten or more foes in a single world place shot. But, you know, it's only 500. And I didn't, I haven't got this one yet. A single shot killing three foes. But still got time to try and get the other ones. So there we go, the money coming in. Got loads of that now. Okay, on to the next proving ground, Trapper Shingle. The trappers once tested their hunting rifles as well as their footwork here. That's Trapper Shingle. Only place in the city to go to get certified with a repeater. Right, it's the bone repeater thing, so let's let's give it a go. Bang repeater. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Travers had to tread real carefully, or else take a nasty fall. Right. They train themselves by clearing out the targets, while not clearing out the floor. Don't clear out the floor. Okay. Oh. Hey, hold on. I need to make sure I lock on with the shift speed. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Oh, oh, the left one didn't work there. Okay, it didn't work well. I oh, should have been loaded there. Oh, I've got the bonus damage. Oh, well, it's like... Master Trappers got what they needed for a better hunt. Right. That, that was actually okay. Just got to make sure you did the lock on. news start. Sounds pretty good. Well, I uh, don't have to come back here. That was <laughs> the first time. You would have believed it. Wow. Didn't expect that. I don't like the fang repeater. The trappers would have been impressed with how the kid handled the shingle. So, what, what, have I already got some upgrades on that one? Got a fang. Something else. Oh, I have got a few already. Okay. Got a speed clip. 55% uh, faster reload. I have the damage already. I haven't got the improved firing rate, which also does a wider attack spread, which probably wouldn't have been good. Flurry bolts. The heavy bolts actually damaged probably just meant I could kill and move on. And the faster reload, which stacks with this one, so when I did have to reload, it was nice and quick. The grooved chamber and the hollow chamber of extra ammo. Could have been useful as well, but yeah. 
I'll take that first time. Um, don't need to go and practice. Instead, let's go on and do the next one. Moving on to the ball head court proving ground. Very few emerged unscathed from the ball head court, but many tried. Okay. That's the ball head court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. Right. Good. Shields, not words. Press shift just before getting hit to counter. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylonia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Okay, so it's like prove your innocent by blocking. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. Oh. Well, there's no upgrades for shields, so. Oh, come on, shoot me. I guess there's only Max's bits taken. But so far. All the timing on these is weird. Oh, that was a bit wrong. Oh, that was faster. Bullhead trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Let's get some space. Second, gotta always watch your back. Oh, what? Been in. Third, God like bull up there gonna save you. Get some room. Guess there's a bit longer than that. Oh man. So wait till they're right at the top. Really? Oh it's scary though. One. Oh. There we go. Look okay, at what you got. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that counter killed. Five hits. Oh, these are going to be hard. One at a time, one at a time. Yeah. That one. Okay. Still going. Yeah, so there's two of them, it's a bit annoying. Oh, he hit teammate. Alright, it's not going too bad. The smarter ones knew when to just step aside and let things go. Oh, I see. Hint, hint. Right, so, about here, I guess. Some folks wind up taking the coward's way out. So that's how you the kid pulls through in five four. Ah, second. What was it for first? Three hits off you. Okay, that is quite the difference. But money. Okay. Three hits or less. Something to work on. We'll keep going then. I guess there's no real upgrades for shields, so I'll see what I can do. Stay focused. Little mistakes can creep in. Oh, there we go. You're there. One at a time, please. Gotta watch out. It looks into the right one. If too close to that one. To that one, it would then look over here, miss the counter. So be careful. We took a bit of time before he saw me. Okay, what have you got? There we go. I don't like this. There we go. Now your turn. Okay, that's it. Spread them out a bit. These. Oh, it's these guys. Hmm, too early. 
get to those shake. So, we get a little shake before they hit. Okay, they're triple guys, gotta watch out for these. Oh no, five Not triple. Now these guys are quick. Okay, I countered but still took damage. Yep, I don't get it either. Be a little bit. Keep the shield up. A little bit closer. That's it. Okay, squirts. That was, oh, that was, that was well close. Okay. One of you. There we go. Oh, he lived. Weird. This seems to be stronger than normal. Right. Must have a bit of room. Okay, we're getting the, the big guy. What? Okay. Here we go. Now when they're small, I can move further. Oh, the ropey ones in there, but we'll take that. Oh, that was a lot more money. Worth it, okay. Let's go. So, that was interesting. I... There's a hint of pride in his eye when he gets back, and more than a hint in mine. It's like my Part dad. Of the rippling walls floated by, so I caught the kid's old knapsack. Okay, Got something there. So, as you can see, I haven't really got any shield things, but there are a few. We'll just go from the bottom. Not the whale. There you go. You can move faster while blocking. That one could be used for that that blocking mission. Um, you could probably do plus critical when at full health, so that could be useful. Ten percent critical hit chance. And where's the other one? There's another one that could, if you're struggling, you can plus 100% damage when counter blocking with the bullhead shield. That's probably a good one to stick on. So if you're struggling with that mission, it'll probably be worth looking at those. Excellent. Well, let's have a look. We'll look at the bedroll at some point, but first of all, let's see what's up here. Okay, let's try the rocket launcher, the Mansa Observatory Proving Ground. The city's scientific guild used this place to experiment with classified inventions. Mansa Observatory. Now there's a sneaky place. Overlooking the Tazzle terminals themselves. Let's go. The Ura probably didn't know they were being watched from Mansa Observatory. It was the perfect spot to test something no one's meant to know about. All right. Only trouble was something about the place drove the windbags crazy. Oh, this can't be good. So am I. Oh, yo, run at an angle. If the thing like that takes getting used to, got a pointer in the right direction. Oh no, stop coming. Whatever gets in her way is in the world of her, but she ain't the fastest thing. No. Better no. stand well clear of that impact. Focus. 
Das ist leise drin. Das ist schon, das ist schon. Chance ist over. Oh, I missed. That was poor. Oh, there's only six remaining. Stay over there. Two remaining. One remaining. Here he is. Oh! Well, that experiment was a rousing success. Ha <laughs> ha First time. Something wrong. Something burnt. Calamity Rockets. If only the Mancers could have seen the kid playing around with their favorite toy. Oh yeah. Oh, I got this. Eight free photos of a single blast. The Mancers. Ding. They knew everything. Even if it cost him. Pretty sure quite a few of my shots completely missed and hit the things behind, but I'll pretend that I did that on purpose. So as you can see I had no upgrades on the Calamity Cannon and we managed to win, so that was pretty good. So something to be aware, you can do that one without upgrades. Okay, Slinger Range, Proving Ground. Bounty hunters longing to explore the wild unknown were wise to train here first. Slinger Range is where the city's quickest pistoliers put themselves to the test. Well, I'll have a go. Tap, hit tap button. You have to think oh, fast to survive the wilds, and none have thought faster than the Slingers. They could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. Like a machine gun. Let's see how this works. Oh. They knew just when to start shooting and when to stop. Oh. That's oh, right. It's right click, right. That's confusing. I'll try on a left click. Here we go. Those pistols could spit out rounds just as quick as you could pull the trigger. I better pull it quicker. So I'm holding down lock on, otherwise this would be... Learning to hold your fire could be its own challenge. You see hard? Hard. Oh, not quick enough. I like I gotta go quicker. I mean, I messed up at the beginning, that probably can't have helped. I normally need to be pretty on it in these missions, these proving grounds. Five hundred points. No okay, so matter how fast you are, you can always get faster. Second. Next score: seven hundred or more. Right. Well, we can keep on trying. The slingers could plug you full of holes faster than you could say draw. Okay, hold down, lock down, or lock on. That's for right click. Okay, here we go. Nice, nice and fast. Slingers like to edge each other out using customized pistols. Yeah, put a bit of customization on. Since my first trial. Eventually it all comes down to reflexes. Need more points, come on. Oh, long way to go, so I'm 50 on here, I think. Oh, at least two more, come on, be two more. I gotta say, uh, kid's the oh. fastest shot I ever seen. Right, I thought I had to get 750, but I'll take that, sling a storm. Nice. Right, let's go back. Next.
proving ground it is. But first, let's look at the upgrades I had on that he weapon. blew through slinger range like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Where's the... It helps to find it. There it is. So I had sealed cylinders, bullet scatter eliminated. So rather than expanded cylinders, the speed loader chambers wouldn't be that useful because it automatically reloads between shooting. I had the increased damage, high caliber chambers. I had cauldron powder, which is plus one target penetration for shot, which I don't think it really does much. A uh, controversial propellant that produces so much force it causes bullets to cut straight through targets. And then the uh, wild powders ricochet on contact, so that wouldn't have been useful either, I don't think. Um, that's wild powder and experimental propellant that somehow causes bullets to bounce on target to the target. Then there's bullets, crippled foes, gun barrels that secrete a tranquilizing agent causing each shot to reduce the target speed. Not really needed. Whereas hunting barrels, 25% damage effect stacks with high caliber chambers. So maximum strength gun barrels built to achieve superior muzzle velocity and stopping power. So the hunting barrels, increased damage, and high caliber chambers I think are useful for this mission. And definitely the sealed cylinders, the bullet scatters are very important. I mean more ammo doesn't really matter, you just want to, you want to hit the target for that mission. Proving ground and bullets ignore armor. That wouldn't be that useful against unless you're against those guys with eyes that are invincible when they're closed. But when they're looking, if you look at them then you can shoot them and they won't block it. And hollow jacket rounds, bullets cause knockback, which could be useful. Especially made bullets to expand as soon as they penetrate the target, forcing it back with that is brutal. Or dense heavy duty bullets that even cut straight through even the hardest substances. So, did that one. I think I'm now down for one more. So. Okay, Camp Dauncey, Proving Ground. The secretive brushes explored the finer points of polearm combat in this training arena. Over there is Camp Dauncey where the brushers steal themselves for secret missions. Secret missions sounds like something that could be fun. So we can throw this as to well. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylonia's brushers practice at Camp Dauncey. Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing but a pike. Right. I like they all six switches quickly. Have a little cheeky look. It's a dangerous test for a dangerous job. Oh, you can't roll, right? Health tonics were off limits at Camp Dauncey. They said they made you weak. Oh, yeah, don't run into it. Alright, this is gonna be hard. Throw it and it kills multiples. But... This is going to be an interesting one to try and smash, but smash it we will. Rules said he couldn't use any fancy footwork, just your brains and your pike. Yes, I can't roll. It's a bit of time to come back. Sometimes the course was brutal. Alright, that is brutal. I can't even find half the switches. If you did alright at Camp Dauncey. Got to go to the Second, really, with all of that rubbish. What am I supposed to be looking at? 60 seconds of 120. Well, let's, let's try it again. Uh, 
Oh, nicht mal. Ball. Okay, doing quite well. Go, go, go. Get that, get that, get that. It's a good enough run, I can't dance. Oh, 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 oh. The on the spot. Now that was a tricky one. Rush is sweet. I'm glad we managed that one. Oh. The wilds oh, ain't so scary now, are they? I guess not. <laughs> It's a running race, that one. So, point, something pointing you now. This one, I've used all the upgrades just to get through that one. That was a tricky one. Probably was a better way to do it than I did it there, but um, but I take thinking, and I didn't think much, I just did. So I got rid of the critical that we had on it before. So there's no no 50% chance of no hit, the critical hit damage increase. But the faster throw, so it gets the throw quicker. And then the thrust attack to cause knockback. And then I went for faster thrust attack, so nice quick attacks as soon as I get running around. And increased damage so I don't have to hit the pin cushions twice, just the once. I preferred that to the throwing speed because the throwing speed kind of it was like throw, then hit stuff at throw. So it was, it could have that could have helped, but the damage is quite important. And I didn't need the stun. And the extra thrown spear was useful because it just went off and did its own damage and made sure things were killed when they got hit and the ignore armor wasn't really needed but that's a good one to have in gen general play in the game it's so there's all of those to uh, look through done all of these I've never got this but yeah as you can see completed all of the proving grounds. I have proved myself. And there's just this the puzzle terminals left. And I also want to try and take on the bed roll. Had a little go against it and uh yeah, it was tough. So we go back in there and do that. 